Hello, my friends. My name is Julian. I'm a tech truck educator with the Perot Museum of Nature and Science, and I'm here to show you guys how to build a CD hovercraft. Before we get into the building of our CD hovercraft, let's talk about what is actually going on whenever we construct our hovercraft. So we are going to have a CD, that's this line right here, a CD with some kind of top that's gonna be attached to the CD, and then a balloon on top. So there is air inside of the balloon flowing around and around, but then once you get your hovercraft going, you'll put it on top of a smooth surface like a table or on the floor. And once that balloon starts to contract or it starts to decrease in size, that's happening because the air inside here is trying to escape. And so it escapes below through that top and through the hole of the CD and then goes out through all sides of the CD and that is what creates that hovering kind of effect. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, I'm actually going to build two versions of our CD hovercraft to give you an idea of the kinds of materials that you can use when you are deciding to build one. So you will need, of course, a CD. You'll need some kind of top. This is the top of a two liter soda bottle. And then this is the top of an old bottle of dish soap. And then, of course, you will also need a good amount of tape. For the, uh, whenever you need the tape, I would actually recommend that you use hot glue, but I wanna show you guys using tape just so that in case you don't have a hot glue gun, you have no worries. So, what we're gonna do is we're going to take our tops and we're gonna put them on top of our CDs. Now, for the two liter soda bottle cap, I took my two liter soda bottle and I took a nail and a hammer and I actually took, I actually made several holes in the top. I put one, I took one large nail and made a bigger hole in the middle and then I made eight smaller holes around that big one. Remember, if you, whenever you use a nail and hammer, please get an adult's permission and also get their help as well. All right, so once you take whatever top that you want, you'll start to tape the top onto the center of your CD hovercraft. You wanna make sure that there's no air escaping on either side. And do you see how I have some tape leaning on the edge of the hovercraft? We don't want that because we don't want anything sticking to the floor, but I am gonna use that tape because it's perfectly good tape. And I'm going to attach it to the sides like that. All right, so that's the first one done. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the two liter bottle, just making sure that there is a little bit of the tape that is actually making contact with the top so that it will stay in place. All right. And don't be shy with the tape. You wanna make sure that it's staying in place. This is one of the reasons why I would recommend a hot glue, but if you don't have hot glue, you have nothing to worry about. Okay, so that actually looks pretty good. I just wanna make sure that both of my aircrafts are airtight. All right. And now, whenever you are ready to test out your hovercraft, you will take your balloon, twist the end of the balloon so that no air escapes, and then you will carefully stretch the lip of the balloon over the top of the cap. And then you will get, let's get the second one going also. You'll take the balloon, stretch it over, and here we go. Oop, here we go. It's already running away. Oh goodness. While I was playing around with my CD hovercrafts, I noticed a couple of things. I noticed that the uh, hovercraft with the soda liter bottle worked uh, not quite as well as the one with the dish soap. However, it lasted for a lot longer of a time. So just keep that in mind whenever you are constructing your hovercraft and maybe putting in a few more holes or adjusting the top a little bit will help you out. I hope you guys had fun building your CD hovercrafts. I know I did. Uh, keep learning, stay safe, and talk to you soon.